It's your girl Kismat, aka that's Sally Critique, and you're welcome to my channel once again. So, if you're here to subscribe, please do not forget to subscribe. I need you to subscribe, like, share, tell your neighbor, your friends, your cousins about this channel. <laughs> Thank you. We need to, we need to grow. We need to continue to grow. Yeah, we're not even close to the permanent site yet. Yeah. <laughs> so today we shall be reviewing the Nollywood film. Drum roll. Um, okay. <laughs> Introducing the Kujas, ITK, the movie. Yeah. This film stars Bisola Yola, who doubles as co producer, Mimi Onolaja, Ronke Odusoya, Femi Jacobs, Timini Busin, MC Lively, Bimbo Ademoye. Ah, God. It's a superb cast. I promise you. Don't tell me that you're expecting the rest of the family to come over next weekend. Who told you that this time will not be different? Why would it be different? Just... I say it will be different because I have a plan. Sorry, Santa. This could you family out. There's something about the way she moves, I can't explain it. Hey, John Bolo, today with you. I want your no manners. Bolo, today, I'm a tani. My name is Chooks, a uh, political science major. Uh, soon to be a uh, bar owner here in Badagri. You, 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 you study political science now. You want to be selling kai kai. Introducing the Kujus follows the story of the Kujus, the Kujus, yeah, the Kujus family. The Youngest sister Mousy, played by Bisola Yola, tricks her older siblings into coming to the village to celebrate um, their mother's, their late mother's 50 year remembrance. That's the story. Now, <laughs> they get home one way or the other, they find out it's actually a trick and there's tension here and there, quarrels, screams. Shots, old wounds are reopened, and yeah, it's it basically just tells us or shows us if you're a member of a family, you, you're used to this kind of things, this kind of issues, and that's what it shows us. At the end of the day, it's not even the trick by um, Mousy that's the big deal, it's the fact that the family has not been as united as, as it was when their mom was alive. so yeah i don't want to give too much out yet so basically that's the story um what did i like about this film let me go straight to the points short and precise no no need for long yearnings okay i like the fact that the story is not something we've seen before yes it's refreshing and the actors you know for me i always say this even if costuming is not very good or even if his story is not very good but the actors are good like they're excellent and they bring in the a game they are they are believable they sell the story see that's a movie for me it's not about what they're wearing their makeup the location or anything it's really about the actors and yeah that's what's selling introducing the creatures this is a movie that I would recommend wholeheartedly because I enjoyed watching it. See, the day I watched Introducing the Kujus, I saw three, two other movies. I saw three movies. And of those three movies, Introducing the Kujus was the one that was, or I would say the one that I enjoyed the most because I could relate with it. I, I I enjoyed it. I didn't even want it to end. That's how exciting it was. It's a comedy. It's drama, but slapstick comedy. It's not slapstick comedy or comedy that will make you like, like, okay, oh, can we go? Can we move to the next one? No. The comedy was where we're supposed to laugh, we laughed. What was supposed to reason with um, them? What was supposed to be sad or be empathetic? That was the case. So it's basically just a film that you can relate with. I think that's the simple way to put it. It's relatable. That's why this kind of a film will sell in Nigeria. It shows us. It's not. It's not like oh, 
why Nigeria and they are trying to sh show us how a family setting is in the abroad. No, it's not. We're not seeing anything that has to do with the abroad here. It's the Nigerian setting. What's the setting is the location is also something I like about the film. But I agree, it's that is close to my heart. Here, it's a beautiful place. I love the setting. I loved costuming was good too. Uh, makeup was decent, cinematography was okay, directing was top notch. It's a beard Stephen film. Ah, that woman is she's just someone that I really, really admire from Picture Perfect. That was when I fell in love with her and seeing her direct. I, I knew when I was going in to see this film, I knew I was going to have fun, I knew I was going to enjoy myself, I knew it wasn't going to be a waste of time because my time is very, very precious to me i don't waste it so introducing the kudos is a film that i will watch again and again and i'll recommend to as many people as i come across because it's really really that nice for me like i said it's the actors the story and then the plot development the way you know it wasn't just it wasn't like it wasn't we didn't know a, a couple of things until when they wanted us to find out that's something else I liked about this. I'm trying not to give away too many things about this film because I want you to watch it. But like I said, this is not a film that you should miss. Honestly, you should watch it. And if you've seen it, do you agree with me? Do you disagree? What things you like about it? Honestly, up until now, I'm still trying to figure out what I didn't like about introducing the creatures. That's how good this film is. You need to see it. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section. Basically, that's why I'm here to tell you just how much I enjoyed watching Introducing the Crutches. So I'm going to say thumbs up to the producers, um, the director, the actors. Oh my God. I don't want to mention my favorites because everybody was good. Yeah. So that's basically it. Do not forget to subscribe, like I said. And you're going to be seeing so many reviews this month. December 2020 is a month of blockbusters in Hollywood. I tell you, like, that's just it. <laughs> so, guys, I've got to go. I'll see you very soon with another movie review. Bye.